winner of yesterday's Grand Prix, Emily Scholtens and Desperado. The NOP suffix awarded by the Dutch Federation and a small grant to keep the horse in Dutch ownership through the next Olympic cycle. Yesterday's Grand Prix was a personal best for this combination of 76.4. In World Cup freestyle action this year, they scored 79% for fifth in Lyon and an impressive 83% just in recent weeks for sixth in the five-star indoor show at Stockholm, Sweden. Days, of course, riding their favorite moves, the Piaf Passage that they put early in their test. It's a powerful extension as well. We've yet to see the walk, we've yet to see the canter, but Emily Schultens currently sits on the sort of score that is going to go into the lead. said we had to see the walk or seen the canter. This is a combination that picked up tens from two of the judges for their extended walk. And they are barely scoring anything below an 8.0 for any of this canter work. Another extension for them to pick up another good mark. Big, powerful, explosive almost line of tempi changes a moment ago. Or the two tempies they were. And out of that pirouette, we'll see a one tempi line.
just curves the line towards the end and rides 15 as well, both to increase the degree of difficulty. That sits in for the extended canter there, having had pretty good tempi change lines. She uses that joker line to show another extended canter in the hopes of getting a few more nines onto the scorecard. Combination won the freestyle in Nations Cup action at Compiègne this year and was second in the special at the Nations Cup show at Hiestenen in the Netherlands. And what a move on, 79% in World Cup action in Lyon in November, early December then it was 83% off the World Cup circuit in Stockholm and they're going to be 83, maybe 84% today and you've got to be looking at your winner. Emily Scholtens and Desperado NOP for the Netherlands lay down a tremendous freestyle performance here in the Neckerhal and two more challenges to come are going to have an awful lot to do. The extensions in particular were well rewarded, but tens coming in for this horse's extended walk as well. I say it is going to take a serious effort from Morgan Barbenthon Mestre and Juan Miguel Torrao still to come to overtake Emily Scholtens here. I think we're going to get confirmation of her score in just a moment, but you do feel like that Maria Caetano and Coroado's score of 80.940 is about to drop to second place. 83% at the beginning of the month in Stockholm today for Emily Schultens. It's 85.075. This is a combination very much on the up. Emily Schultens and Desperado are our leaders on 85.075, a world-class and world-competitive score.